Hello and welcome everybody back to Kif's Crypto where today we will be teaching you how to use MetaMask for beginners and we will also be teaching you in the upcoming future videos how to use DeFi, decentralized finance uh, through interacting with uh, MetaMask and how to uh, use it directly on the blockchain. So we will be teaching you that. So subscribe to the channel for future videos and we hope you guys enjoy this video today. Um, so how to use MetaMask uh, on your PC. Basically you go to metamask.io which is their website. Uh, you will only have to go to metamask.io and you will come to this page and you will see that uh, there will be a download button over here you should click this and then you will see that the supported browsers is Chrome, Firefox, Brave and Edge browser. It's also supported for iOS and Android which is the mobile uh, app so it works exactly the same on the mobile as well the basics of how this works but you can in click install Metamask for whatever browser you have um, in this case we're using Brave because I'm using Brave browser and uh, as you guys can see I already have MetaMask installed up here. I click the little extension button once it's installed you'll see this button with the little fox that is the MetaMask logo and you click that and it the little the wallet pops up right here in a little window. Uh, you can also expand the window by clicking this button here expand view and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this where you can see an expanded view of your MetaMask wallet. But uh, for the purposes of this video right here, we will uh, be showing you that um, once it is, is installed, it will pop up here as, you, as one of your extensions. So you would need to create an account and then um, also when you're creating your account, guys, you'll be create, you will have a seed phrase. Do not forget your seed phrase. Write it down. It is basically like a password for cryptocurrency. It is the most important thing um, about cryptocurrency that you have to remember. Um, if you lose all of your cryptocurrency, it is gone forever. No one can help you get it back if you lose your seed phrase. So your seed phrase is the most important thing. Make sure you write down a physical copy of it and keep multiple copies in different places. Uh, never forget about it and it's uh, treated like your bank details basically guys. You would never give your bank passwords to someone. So never tell anyone your seed phrase. Um, so. Once you have done that and set it up, you will now see it will pop up here. And like I said, you can click on this and it will say zero. Um, so you will be on, you will be starting on the Ethereum ne uh, network and you'll see this page. So it will say zero Ethereum. Um, so for the purposes of this video, we will be teaching you how to use the Binance Smart Chain, but it works exactly the same for any other blockchain. So you can apply this to the Ethereum uh, blockchain, to Avalanche, to uh, the Kronos blockchain, and to Phantom and to any other blockchain um, that you might be using. It works in exactly the same way. And that is that the first thing you need to do is deposit the na native token. So you need some uh, Ethereum in order to interact with the Ethereum blockchain and you need some uh, BNB in order to interact with, interact with the Binance uh, blockchain. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, add the Binance network. So you would come to here uh, you would go to the link in the description and that will take you to here. Okay guys, this is Chainlist um, and this is a list of all of the different blockchains in cryptocurrency. You can type in any blockchain. As you can see, you've got Ethereum mainnet here. You can type in um, Binance Smart Chain and uh, you can see it pops up here. You can type in any blockchain that you want to connect to. For example, Phantom Opera main mainnet here and um, you have Avalanche. Uh, right here mainnet you can type in um, you can get the Kronos mainnet here every blockchain is this is a database website with every blockchain and you can it's very simple because on this website you can simply one click add that network to your wallet so this is the Binance Smart Chain Network you click this button simply click this button it will be added to your MetaMask account it will just say are you sure and you click yes I am sure um, you want to add it and then it will be added on basically. It will automatically add the network. Then you click this network switcher button at the top here. Uh, it will be on Ethereum and you go down and you switch to Binance Smart Chain. Once it is added, you will also see that there is a zero BNB in here. And uh, so you will need to deposit some cryptocurrency into the wallet. And uh, the first token you need to deposit is BNB because on this blockchain when interacting every transaction you do you need um, the native token for the gas costs so for the BNB it for the Binance smart chain it is BNB so um, in order to deposit some cryptocurrency here into your wallet 
you go to your ex whatever cryptocurrency exchange you're using uh, for example coinbase or binance so you create an account on coinbase or binance if you don't already have one yet and then you can purchase bnb um, or any other crypto inside of the exchange and then in the exchange you would go to uh, your you would go to your well actually first you would go up here and you would go to your wallet section okay uh, where it says deposit and withdraw and then you would go to whatever coin you want to withdraw in this case uh, we're withdrawing BNB uh, you select the coin and make sure that you are on the coin that you definitely want to withdraw um, and then you enter in here your MetaMask address so how do you find that well when you click on this extension your address will be right here at the top so this is your uh, cryptocurrency wallet address on the blockchain so you can you can take this address you can copy it as you can see there and you can paste it directly into here and then make sure that you are on Binance Smart Chain so BEP20 but this is where you select the network um, you are using so um, always make sure that you've got the right network selected here guys and in this case we're using we want to use the Binance Smart Chain it just says here uh, make sure you have got the right uh, blockchain if you send it to the wrong blockchain you may lose your funds uh, so it's very important that you get this right so just double check the blockchain and say I am sure and then you type in however much you would like to send so for example um, if you want to know how much BNB in dollars it is that you're sending you can go to coin market cap and you can simply go to whatever whatever token you're sending in this case BNB and if you go down here there is a converter to US dollars so let's say you want to send $20 uh, you can type in there and it shows you exactly how much that is in BNB. You would copy that exact amount, which you know will be $20. And you can you can type in the amount in here in BNB. So it says, how much in BNB would you like to withdraw? You type in that amount, uh, however much you want to withdraw. In this case, that will be worth $20. And then you go ahead and click the withdraw button and um, at the moment uh, at, uh, yours will be yours will be available but at the moment uh, why, why is it saying that uh, oh uh, anyway don't worry guys but uh, basically this withdraw button will be available you click on the withdraw button and then um, you if you have two-factor authentic authentication enabled then you will have to pass security but once you've done that you might have to do an email and a text message security once you've done that, it will send the funds directly to the wallet and your BNB should appear in this wallet. There are different lengths of time it takes for the transaction to process through on each blockchain. But on the Binance Smart Chain, it is very fast and quick uh, and the gas fees are cheap. So um, it will it will be uh, only a few cents of the gas fee for each transaction that you send. Um, and it should arrive in uh, around a minute at the moment or a minute or two sometimes or sometimes less because the Binance Smart Chain is very fast. However, the Ethereum blockchain, for example, is very slow and it can often take a long time. It can even take uh, up to a few hours. So it all depends on the network congestion of how long the transactions will take to come through. But uh, it usually happens pretty quickly here. And then congratulations, you will have cryptocurrency uh, in your wallet and now you can start to interact with decentralized finance protocols. You can use... Um, the amount in your wallet here to pay for all of your transactions and gas fees and you can also swap some of your tokens for other different tokens on that blockchain and we are going to be teaching you guys how to do that in the next video and we're going to be teaching you how to interact with other decentralized protocol protocols and we're going to just teach you one and then once you know that you will know the basics of how to interact with all the decentralized protocols in the future but this is the basics of using the metamask wallet um, you can. I will also show you how to add tokens. So down here, guys, um, if you want to see any of your balances or any of your tokens, once you have them, you won't see them until you've in, uh, until you have added the tokens here. So um, basically, if you want to add Tether, for example, if you want to add any token, you come to Coin Market Cap, you go to that token. So you would type that token in, for example, USDT, and then you come to that page and over here it has a list of the different um, of the contract uh, the token address for all of the different networks so you would come to the Binance Smart Chain and here it says add to MetaMask you simply click that it will pop up this will pop up here your MetaMask wallet and it will say confirm do you want to add this new token import this do you want to import this new token you say yes and then it will pop up here 
um, and basically it will come up as a new token. You can also manually enter them here by clicking import tokens. So I will just quickly show you that. For example, if we want to add Teva, we would click add to MetaMask and it will pop up here saying, do you want to add Tether? I think it, that's coming twice because I clicked it twice, but let me just click it again once. So yeah, if we click add Tether and then it says add token, you click add token and it simply adds it to your account. And there you can see the balance of that token. You can see at the moment we don't have any Tether in our wallet, but in the next video you will learn how to swap uh, BNB for any token. And if you were to swap BNB for Tether, then the, uh, the Tether balance amount would appear here. So uh, using decentralized finance, you can become financially free, guys, uh, because even if you don't invest into um, cryptocurrencies and uh, token, speculative tokens, um, you can even just use stable coins to earn interest on decentralized protocols. And you can do this completely with, with complete freedom online without anyone being able to stop you because that is uh, the beauty of decentralized finance only you are in control of your money and uh, you are interacting these applications like metamask are simply front end pro uh, front end um, uh, use uh, user interfaces where you can interact directly with the blockchain so the blockchain your uh, wallet is stored on forever and uh, yeah, no one can change that. So it's pretty um, awesome uh, how cryptocurrency works. It's pretty useful. We hope that you guys have found this uh, useful. And in the next video, we will be teaching you how to uh, use some decentralized finance apps. So thank you guys very much for watching the video. And if you guys want to enter the cryptocurrency giveaway, go ahead and check out the first comment on this video. And we will see you guys in the next video.